Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's October 6th, 2013, and this week we're going to discuss how to work on alternate picking between strings. Now, this question was sent in from Bill. He's out in Columbus, Ohio, and he wrote in with this email. One area of my playing that drives me nuts is getting good technique for picking more complex alternate passages. I want to make it clear to you that I'm not meaning picking fast, rather picking very cleanly, mostly between the strings in a vertical way. Hope that there are exercises to help me get better from Bill in Columbus, Ohio, USA. Well, hey, thanks for writing in, Bill. When it comes to getting more and more accurate with alternate picking, there certainly isn't anything much better for us than concentrating on playing very steady, repetitive note patterns that will come from durations of either triplets or straight time drills. Now, these varied rhythmic durations combined with transitioning the exercises along the neck horizontally and vertically will produce excellent results for you, especially if this practice is done using a metronome and the tempo is gradually increased over time. So for this lesson plan, I've created some examples that can help you get started at clearing up your alternate picking between strings. In the first study that I have, uh, I'm going through a drill that applies 16th note triplets. So because these rhythms are really fast, uh, even at the slower tempos, play this one extremely slow at the first uh, tries with it and develop your speed over time. So here's how this uh, exercise operates. It's just um, in 4-4 time, we're going to be working off of a D note and we're going to have the 16th note triplets following on every beat. And you can even shift positions with it. If you wanted to, you could even go vertically with it as well. You can work it along, along the neck into any position, any location that you would like. But it's an excellent study for starting to develop the tracking between left and right hand uh, technique. Now, in the next exercise, I'll be covering a very vertical crossing technique that'll really keep you moving across the guitar strings. Uh, one other concept with this study uh, applies uh, here to um, the half step distance that we have and the difference in tuning between the third to the second strings. It's a really common shift that we have to become experts at as guitar players, so uh, making that compensation along the neck is really important. Uh, so basically, this exercise, though, it's a very vertical exercise. We're gonna operate off of uh, a C sharp note going to an A traveling up back to the C sharp notes we have C sharp A B C sharp then we're going to carry on to the next string F sharp D E F sharp and as you might have guessed the exercise is just going to carry on now we do want to make that shift though the half step shift when we move to the second string so here it is again and then we can shift it along the neck you know take it up another position Remember that shift and then back. And we can keep going. And just shift it and work it all along the fretboard. It's a really good one. It's kind of a you know tongue twister for your fingers, but uh, and then of course there's that remembering the half step shift as well. So it's a little bit of work. Take your time with it. Go slowly. And you'll get better at it in uh, in uh, let's say maybe three to four weeks. I'm sure you'll see a lot of progress. Now another area that tends to uh, plague students when it comes to alternate picking across strings is the uh, string skip. So in the next example, I have a string skip uh, from the very start of the study, which jumps from the first guitar string over to the fourth guitar string. Yeah, it just happens right away, right at the beginning of the study, and then the exercise will concentrate on the second and third guitar strings. So we'll go uh, like this. So we'll have our string cross, and then we'll have the interior notes. And that's really the exercise right there. You can move it, uh, you know, along the neck. But definitely go slowly in the beginning. You know, don't take these exercises too fast too soon. Even if you have to work in one area, you know, if you go up a few frets and you realize, oh, I'm getting really sloppy, just stay in one region and work on the perfect pick attacks. You know, it's, it's just going to take time. You know, it, this stuff does not come very fast. You know, it's very heavy in the department of coordination. So just go slowly in the beginning. And you'll get, you know, gradually you get more speed. 
just takes a lot of practice and a lot of work with the metronome. Now, my last exercise example gets more varied in relation to rhythmic meter. The exercise pattern is actually a combination of using both 16th notes as well as an eighth note triplet figure. So the other tough technical consideration for this one is as it develops, it travels from the fifth guitar string over to the third, and then uh, the exercise moves uh, over to the, uh, well, over to the fourth and then to the third, pardon me. So we've got this passage going a descending line, ascending line, and then ascending again. And the triplet is gonna be you know, the last figure. So we'll have one E and a, and then we'll have uh, the uh, two and a with the triplet, or triple it. So it's a funny exercise, and the idea behind it also is to move it horizontally. Uh, it's gonna be tough because at the end of the study, you're on third string and you have to shift back over again to the fifth string. So you may wanna work in one position for a while and just develop in one region. And then slowly start moving it along the neck. You got a, a whole step back because you have your minor third and then you have a whole step back with a major third and then you've got a half step forwards to take care of the notes that are more scalar and, and they're doing the triplet figure. So just go easy with it. It's a very good study though. Use a metronome. Again, don't go too fast too soon with it, but uh, over time you'll see some great results. Well, one thing I'm sure you've noticed right away with these exercises is the repetition involved. And when it comes to polishing up any kind of right and left hand coordination concept, repetition is without a doubt the key element to your success. Just remember to keep going steady with a few things when you practice this stuff, like using a metronome and of course being very conscious with your control, your tone and your dynamics. Also, never go too fast too soon. Play your exercise at a constant rate and a pace where you can play the parts perfectly. Just uh, don't be all too hung up, you know, with playing fast. The speed will come in time. It always does. So strive for perfection and accuracy so that your technique develops uh, efficiently. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.